Hi. Hello, Hi, everybody. everybody. Hello. Just waiting for people to join for a second. Okay, people are here. So we wanted to play a few songs for you, um, just because it's a great thing to do, and it's been so nice to connect and stay connected with you all in this way. But we also wanted to... Ooh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. We also wanted to particularly do something because of our show that we were supposed to do yesterday in Washington, D.C. that's been postponed, like all of the other shows all over the world and tours and events. Um, so it's just nice to play these songs and acknowledge that these shows, we wish that we were all together for them, but we can still play songs and be together in this way, right? Yes. And so we want to invite our friend Rebecca Foon um, to join us because the three of us uh, were supposed to do the show yesterday in DC. Um, so we want to play a song with her. She's over in Canada. So we want to go live with her. Oh my gosh. Hello everybody. <laughs> so many people trying to go live. I can't find her in the list because everyone's trying to join our live feed. Oh, here she is. Okay. And. Waiting for her to come here. Connecting. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi, Becky. Hi. Hi. So good. Oh, can't hear you. Oh, hold on. People can't hear online, so I'm going to restart it. Hold on. Delete. Hold on, everybody. Just doing a technical difficulty thing here. Just want to make sure people can hear on my phone. No, it's good. We want everybody to hear. Yeah. Alrighty. Hello. Okay, on my phone, if you're tuning in on my Instagram, can you let me know if you can hear us? Let us know if you can hear us on my phone. Testing. Testing, testing. One two. one, two, three. Testing, testing. Can you hear? Even one person? Tell us. Yes? Nobody's answering. No audio. Oh my gosh. What's wrong with my phone? I don't know. It's only my phone. Still no sound. Oh. All right. I guess my phone sucks, so that's fine. I already knew that. Oh, okay. Well. I'm sad, but there's no sound on my phone, but uh, I guess it's the way it's got to be. So you can, I'll just write a note to people. Talk to your phone. So, um, hello everybody. As Jesse was saying, um, I hope you could hear her, but if not, uh, we had um, together uh, the, mem the founding members of Pathway to Paris, Rebecca Foon and, and my daughter Jesse, and I were going to play in Washington, D.C. at the Kennedy Center, and we were very excited. Um, this, like concerts all over the world, have been postponed, and um, but we can still get together now. We can get together this way, and uh, I'm not... Sorry, she got a phone call. It's just like we're having a really, really rough time. Becky and I did a sound check a minute ago, and I feel like that was a lot more successful than this is going. But we embraced the technical difficulties. Next situation. to all the things that, all the difficulties you know? that, that we're um, surmounting, everything we're navigating, this is very small. But also, it kind of is like being at one of our real shows because yeah, we, they're yeah. full of. Silliness and technical difficulties. If you've been to one, you know. Okay. All right. Ready? So, All right. the first piece um, is from At the Heart of the World. And here is the book I'm reading from. At the Heart of the World is um, uh, some small poems by the great French poet, adventurer, Blaise Cendrars. 
So um, these are fragments from At the Heart of the World. It's Sunday in the forest. I'm alone in my cabin at the heart of the world. The earth is red, the sky is blue, the vegetation is dark green. This landscape is cruel, hard, sad. Despite the infinite variety of vegetating forms, despite the bending grace of palms and the brilliant bouquets of great flowering trees, Lenten flowers. Sunday in the forest. I'm alone in my cabin. Everyone talks about sunsets. Every traveler agrees to talk about sunsets in these surroundings. There are plenty of old books where only sunsets are described. Tropical sunsets. Yes, it's true. It's splendid. But I much prefer sunrises. I much prefer the dawn. I haven't failed one. I am always on the bridge, the naked bridge. And I am always alone to admire them. I am not going to describe them, these dawns. I am going to keep them for myself. Blaze and Drawers has written so many great books, um, Lice and Moravenia and um, uh, Panama and My Seven Uncles, um, such great travel poems. And since we can't travel right now, he's a good person to read, um, a good person to travel with. And um, Mommy, the well, the phone, <laughs> the phone's ringing, but that's okay. Um, the um, Sam Shepard loved Blaze Drawer. Sam and I used to read him in 1971. Um, Sam would, I would read him Blaze, and he would read me Samuel Beckett, and then we'd trade off. So sometimes uh, uh, reading Blaze and Drawers reminds me of Sam, also a great adventurer. So thank you, Becky.
Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We Bye. love you so much. And Becky Bye. is in a cabin. Yeah, <laughs> Becky's in a cabin in beautiful Canada. Look how pretty it is. Bye, Becky. We miss you. We love you. Love you so Bye. much. Bye. Bye. Oh, gosh. So, okay, so I'll get my guitar. Okay. Sorry, her phone keeps ringing. <laughs> People keep calling. They didn't call all day. Uh, yeah, been very they quiet. haven't called. Nobody's called all day, and now they're all calling us. Oh, I have to get a chair. Just so you talk. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I can add... Oh, no, I don't need to do that. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Anyway, you know how it is. We're just all trying to figure out new ways of doing things and new ways to stay connected, and sometimes it doesn't work. Hi, Auntie Linda. I know it wasn't you. <laughs> she said, it's not me. It wasn't me. No, she would be here fixing things if she could. Yeah. Um, oops, I'm sort of way down here. I think I'll step up like this. Oh my God, you almost hit me in the oh, face. I'm sorry. That. Sorry, Jules. So, um, should we try this one? Yeah. Okay. That's fun. Uh, all right, this is an experiment. I, there, I have no guitar strap. Um, my bass player, Tony Shanahan, has my actual uh, guitar. Um, but I'll do the best I can. This little song was written, um, you know, in a time of strife, uh, a good song for right now. And um, it was with thoughts of William Blake in mind, because in the late 17, early, I mean, uh, late 18th, early 19th century, right at the heart of the Industrial Revolution, William Blake, who was a printer, hand printed his work, um, painted, wrote poetry, was an activist, he fought for women's rights, children's rights. But a man like him who um, did everything by hand became very obsolete in the Industrial Revolution. And he died poverty stricken and nearly forgotten. So, um, you know, whenever I feel uh, unappreciated, which isn't too often, but sometimes, or one worries about their work going out into the world. I remember William Blake, who did his work no matter what. He maintained his vision, his work ethic, and in these times when people are losing their jobs, losing their motivation, we have to hold fast to our inner vision and, um, and do our work. So it's called my Blakean year. Can you come? I have to be over here. So can you okay. come behind me a little bit? Okay. So, uh, like here? I don't have Instagram, so it only has. Like here? No, mommy. Like right here. Remember, we just did this. I know, but I didn't. No, this is good. Just as long as you're in the video. You okay. You're in the video. Am I in it now? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's perfect. Okay. You look amazing. All right. Thank you. I wore my. Um, this is my M train jacket. I call it that because I, I was wearing it on the cover of M Train. Oh, that's so nice. It's not really an M Train jacket, except in my in my world. That's nice, Mama. Okay, we'll try this. Okay. Ready? Yes. Do I start? Yes. take off my jewelry to play the oh Okay, that should be okay. 